21 July. I am, it's about, shit, I don't know, 8, <laughs> maybe 8 o'clock. Um, it's supposed to be pretty hot the next few days. Uh, the grass is ready to be mowed. Um, I'm just sitting here. I feel okay. I still don't have any water. Um, no food. So, you know, about 60 hours into this fast. <laughs> I feel good. Um, oh my God, much better than yesterday. Holy shit, man. Man, I went to go leave that house. Um, and it was literally like I was fighting against my fucking self to get out of there. It, I mean, it was it was the weirdest thing. It was like something you'd see in a horror movie, you know? Um, that's what it felt like. <laughs> I was like fighting myself. It was, it was very strange. Um, but yeah, I felt so sick, man. My chest, I was so goddamn nauseous. And usually if I'm nauseous, I just, I throw in the towel, I'm done. That's, that's it. I, you know, I can't operate if I'm nauseous. I just, I can't. Um, but man, I knew, I knew I had to push to get out of that motherfucker. And as soon as I got out front row, I felt a little bit better. When I got halfway here, I felt a ton better about halfway here. Um. And then I had lots of energy last night. So I got here and I was getting my stuff out and walking back and forth and everything. And then um, when I was almost done, I got hit with a bout of nauseousness again. Um, and it really is. I mean, it, your, your body is trying to get rid of toxins and toxicity, whatever the hell it's getting rid of. <laughs> it's getting rid of it. Because I had a, I dropped to the ground on my knees and I, you know just rocking back and forth I didn't know what end it was gonna come out of, um, and uh, just when I was like oh fuck it won't come out either end, and I mean it was bad it was like fuck just shoot me now you know I mean that's what it feels like it's just it's a it is the such a bad feeling. Um, but my pores opened up again. I felt all my pores opening and I could feel it like my body breathing out. <sighs> like all the toxins, I guess. So, um, I'm just sitting here. I haven't put my boots on yet. Uh, I just feel weird, you know, um, I feel weird. I'm in between. I can feel like, I can feel the healing that took place yesterday, but at the same time I can feel like things came up to the surface, like whatever's been hiding down deep is coming towards my outer layers. I guess you could say, and right now it's coming out, you know, this way. Oh, my back feels really straight, which is very nice. Um, my, my neck muscles just feel weak. Uh, again, we were doing this pose called um, cat and cow, I think it's called. And so you're arching your back and your, your top of your back and your neck down, you know, sort of like a hump. And then you're inverting that and bringing your top of your crown of your head back up towards your assholes coming up at the same time while you're on all fours. And you're bending your neck back this way. <coughs> oh my God, that was a hell of a fucking workout. Um... So yeah, it's, I think it's just releasing, if I, I mean, you know, this is early in this, um, and I'm still not feeling 
100%. So, um, I'm just debating whether I should mow the fucking grass. I really want to. Um, I just don't want to hurt myself. You know what I mean? Because I have my schedule lined up for this afternoon. It got fucked up yesterday because of this onset sickness after the yoga. Um, and I got four people that, you know, were counting on me again today that I would have to, you know, I'm just going to pick shit up. That's it. But, you know, they're just, you know, people are waiting for me to pick shit up. So, um, I don't know. I guess I'm going to sit here for a few minutes and try to figure that out. Uh, <clears throat> Again, I tried to leave the house yesterday and it was just, it was terrible. It was the nauseousness. And then the more I pushed to leave the house, my chest constricted so bad right here in the center. Oh my God. I thought I was going to have a heart attack. Um, that's how tight it gets. When I say, I think I'm going to have a heart attack. It's because I really, that's what it feels like. I mean, if you could, if you've never had a heart attack before, but you've seen people clutch their chest and they can't breathe, you know, and everything you've ever seen about a heart, that's what I would assume a fucking heart attack must feel like. Your chest just constricting up to where you can't breathe and... But, you know, fuck. That's how I know how to describe it. So, um... My attitude's a little shitty. I think I stress myself out by scheduling that shit. Because if I didn't go, if I hadn't scheduled that, I wouldn't even need to leave here today. Well, I don't know, it's going to be 95, 97 today, so... Yeah, I can't, I can't do this heat right now. I don't even have water to get in, so. It's a cool down, you know what I mean? And I didn't bring an extra cooler. I was, when I was camping out, when I was uh, staying the days and nights over here, I was bringing an extra cooler with ice. Um, and it wasn't nearly as hot. So yeah, that's where I'm at now. Uh, just trying to figure out Yeah, see, I knew this healing. Okay, so I'm going to explain something right now. Because, like, I'm feeling sick, you know. <clears throat> Due to being excited, talking excitedly. Um, I just got up and was walking back and forth and doing things. And then the stress of having to have a schedule this afternoon that takes me away from here where I should be. So, yeah. So, I'm not feeling good. And... So, what this yoga is doing is... Okay, so I was feeling a, ten times better, right? And I had a feeling this is what was going on. <laughs> I was feeling ten times better. But what was happening... And I had a feeling... I, I, I knew it. I, I didn't have a feeling. I knew it fucking knew it my body was healing but it was healing like a scar instead of a tissue instead of it regenerating instead of it healing properly it was just calcifying over or scat you know what i mean scarring over so it was dead um and what so it was calcifying it was renewing you know and it was just gonna it was going to allow me to do what I had to do, but that would all, it would still all be there, you know, and it'd have to be dealt with later. Or, you know, it, I guess things like that, like calcifications, things of that nature, you know, they can see in an autopsy when you die. Um, but what the yoga did is it softened just in one session. And, like, she was there for two hours, um, and we probably did an hour of just sitting and talking. So it was literally an hour of, of movements, but it, I think we did four movements 
And one of them was called a hero's pose, which, are, you know, is sitting like I am now. Just, you know, but in a certain way, but sitting. So, you know, but these these exercises, these poses are no fucking joke, man. Um, it takes a lot of discipline. A lot of fucking discipline. Because all I wanted to do, I mean, all you want to do, you're like, okay, yeah, I got in that pose. I did it, boom, boom, and you want to get out. Okay, I'm the winner. I won that pose. Let me do the next one. That's what it feels like. I should make a fucking, I'll make a video on what yoga feels like.